folks, we are here at ASH, the American Society of Hematology annual meeting. We, we are talking with physicians from City of Hope. Right now, we're joined by Dr. Monzer Almalki. Dr. Almalki, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Josh. Dr. Almalki, you're the director of the Haplo Identical Transplant Program. What is a Haplo Identical Transplant? So, Josh, we all know that the golden standard donor for successful transplant is a matched sibling but this is available only in 30% of our population. Other patients will have to rely on other type of donors for this life-sustaining procedure. And finding unrelated donors through registry is a very complicated and lengthy procedure. In fact, only 60 to 70% of Caucasian patients will have a matched donor through registry, while for other racial and ethnic group, it goes down to 20 to 30% or even less for example, for African-American. And due to the advances in transplant and method in preventing GVHD, which is the main complication of transplant, we can now choose to do less matching. Your director also of the Unrelated Donor Program, how is that different from a haploidentical donor? Unrelated donor is a donor who's volunteering through the registry to donate for a patient. When we run our HLA matching, which is the method that we match tissues between donor and recipient, we find that there is a um, subset of donors in the registry that they could match um, our patients in different uh, proportions. So some patients will be matched 100%, some will be matching in less than 100%. So you were involved in some research presented here at ASH. Can you tell us about that and what you think the implications will be for patient care? Yeah, so in this ASH, uh, we are presenting the results of our prospective study testing the efficacy of post-transplant cyclophosphamide and preventing GVHD for this kind of population. And the results of the study presented here um, were very promising and showing that using this novel method in GVHD prevention could overcome the HLA matching barrier in transplant. Well, Dr. Al Malki, thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Josh.